Hi everyone! Feeling a bit high for right now. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Megan. Um, if the lighting keeps going weird, I'm sorry, I keep trying to fix it, but it keeps messing up. I've actually just filmed another video prior to this. I filmed a room tour video because you guys wanted to see it and now I've changed my setup. If you can't see, um, I've put my ring light up and stuff so that the camera's not wobbling around all the time like it always is because I'm bad at filming but I've straight up. So yeah, welcome back to my channel and today I will be filming a that were a drum roll makeup collection video because um i asked a question on my instagram and this is what people said they wanted to see so without further ado get into the video Right, I'm literally gonna take you off the stand for like a second just to show you my desk, even though if you've seen literally any of my other videos, you've probably already seen this desk and you can actually see it behind me, but I'm gonna take you off anyway and show you. This is what my desk looks like. This is my makeup desk. I have two sets of Alex Five drawers and then there's my ring light and there you are. Um, Yeah, this is my desk and I'm gonna be going through my makeup collection with you guys today. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see my further videos and now i'll start talking about my makeup because that's what you came here for i've done it i've done it oh stop doing that i'm gonna move i'm gonna move because it's gonna bother me the whole time i'm gonna put you like there we go i don't even see it anymore I've seen me you know my camera camera because i'm using my phone and um, i'm actually gonna get a camera for christmas so we'll just ignore that i'm pretending you can't see that over there your own camera over there so i'm gonna start my first draw i were actually gonna do it in categories but most of my drawers are actually in categories apart from the first one so i'm just gonna get the first one over and with it. the first one is little tubs so we're actually starting with the finishing touches because this drawer is full of random stuff so i'm gonna start with primers so first this is my favorite primer it is the number seven airbrush away primer i do realize that this is probably going to be everything's going to be backwards here which is why i'm telling you what it's called but um this is what it looks like will it focus will it not um this is my favorite primer it's hypoallergenic as well um, which makes my face feel really smooth underneath my makeup, so I like using that. Then I have the e.l.f. primer that literally everybody on the planet has. And I have the Baby Skin Instant Pore Primer. This is so old. And then I have this simple soap. If you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, which you should go watch, by the way. I use that for my eyebrows to stick them up. Today I've actually just used this eyebrow gel this is actually a clear mascara moving on to setting sprays i have the mac fix plus obviously and then i have the morphe continuous setting mist this is the mini one my friend bought it me for my birthday will be repurchasing when it runs out and um, then i use the number seven mascara this is my little everything i don't use any other mascara ever this is my other mascara that i use and um, i've got it on right now i don't know whether it's doing it any justice on this camera but um when you cry it doesn't run down your face or even come off so in this drawer i have the nyx vinyl liner for when i do wings and then i have the burt's bees lip balms these are the best lip balms this is actually just going to be me going through the drawers and putting on makeup as well in this drawer i have the anastasia beverly hills brow pomade in chocolate but i don't really use that very often i also have some moisturizer in there that's a vino moisturizer moving on to my next drawer i have two more of these you lucky guys so i'll start with my powder drawer because that's like more boring i have the illa mask translucent loose powder i'm running out and then i also have the primer loose mineral powder in cool sand this is actually way too dark for me but i did mix in some of the revolution bacon finish i don't really like this because it leaves flashback on my face but when i mixed it with this it was actually quite good because it just lightened it up this is actually quite a good powder i did get it in cool sand but that's only because that was the lightest one they had when i went and i really wanted to try it so i can use it when i'm tanned and then this is the next draw it's got my highlighters and brushes in so i'll start with the this is a number seven blush blush it says it's a bronzer right but just look at it it's just definitely a highlighter up next i have these mua highlighters these are literally like four pound go and buy them because these are actually so pigmented i have this peach diamond one which is actually like one of them that reflects pink and then iridescent gold this is a gold one this is my all-time favorite highlighter look how pretty it is there's a fenty beauty one it's the mean money hustle baby it's, the, it's one of them double ones it looks like this um so as you can see slight issue i've used all of this side and none of the side this is the best highlighter i've ever used then i have the jeffree star supreme 
Frost in Wet Dream. These highlighters, bang. I love how they're like magnetic as well. Then I have the Wet n Wild highlighter. I wish that I did not get the pink one. Then I have the Milani Luminoso blush. If you don't know about this, get to know about it. This is the best blush on the planet. It's so cheap and it's like, make sure look like you're glowing. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have this one. This is good for when I'm tanned as well because it's a bit darker. Then I have the Morphe Trio Blush of this one. I don't know whether these have names. Oh, we're in luck. My next draw is my palette straw. I'm going to start with my Morphe palettes because they're my favourite and I use them all the time, literally every single one of them. By every single one, I mean I have three and I always reach for them. So the first one is the 35 OM. This is, if I'm not corrected, a brown and reds palette um this if you're gonna reach for any eyeshadow palette you want to go buy an eyeshadow palette from morphe because morphe is actually really affordable i would say go for this one because it has so many colors it has so many browns that literally you can't go wrong with browns and then it just has like that pop of color which is red and orange and i've never seen somebody look bad with red and orange eyeshadow ever then i have the 39a which i've shown and used on my channel before if you've seen any of my makeup tutorials you know i use this one i bet you can't guess which colors i use all the time i use this for bronzer of course i don't have a bronzer and then i have the james charles palette the full-sized one and um, i'll show it you but i'm sure you've all seen it before looks like this i'm gonna move on to these revolution palettes i don't know if you've seen them before they look like this basically they look like this on the inside they just have like pressed glitters in them and then there's a big mirror where are you are you there and i have two of those the black one has different colors in i don't know whether these were limited edition at like christmas or something or whether they're full year thing but these are actually really good for like festival makeup and stuff because the glitter actually does you know when you buy those press glitter palettes and then you put them on you and then you rub your finger in and it's like whoa and then you put it in your face and it's stuck to your finger and it just don't come off they're not like that they actually do work and then these are very old and i'm embarrassed that i still have them these are the Kylie Jenner Naughty and Nice Press Powder Shadow Palettes. Eyeshadow Palettes. This is the nice one. I've, I've not reached for these in so long. I don't know why though, because they're actually quite pretty. And then this is the Naughty one. The Naughty one is more like festive. I know obviously they're like Christmassy, but... So it's got like more greens in it. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette. I don't even know if they still sell this. But this was one of the first palettes I ever got. Um, as you can see, I really used out that pink heart highlighter and then i got this ultimate glow kit from anastasia beverly hills i was literally so excited when i got this like over the moon i loved this when i got it it's literally such a mess because i didn't keep the screening in it like i do with all my other ones as you can see white sand is my favorite i don't reach for this palette anymore only because i just have like single highlighters that i use all the time and then i have the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette this i'm just going to show you the picture so i don't have to get it out it's just a multicolored palette i'm not going to go through my hair care draw if you've seen my other videos you'll know i have a hair care draw but i'm not going to go through that because i'm going to do a hair care what is wrong with me today hair care video because i'm blonde not naturally as you can tell so i'm going to do a video on like how i take care of my hair and what products i use and everything because i have quite long hair i don't know if you can see all my hair is my own i don't have extensions or anything so yeah i'm gonna make a video on that so keep an eye out for that video i'm gonna move on to the next side these are my bigger drawers so new foundation first because i feel like that's more exciting so i'll start with my favorite foundation it's the nyx stay matte but not flat liquid foundation i love this foundation moving on to my second favorite foundation which is the revolution conceal and define this is a color f3 so if that does not tell you how pale i am there you go go and check out f3 and you'll realize i am super white up next i have these stick fast base stick foundations these are from revolution i bought all of these when it first came out and it, it was like blowing up i bought all of these i've got f1 and f2 i bought these for my normal face next i have the super size conceal Conceal and Define. As well, in my top favourite foundations is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I don't use this anymore. I just kept it so I know not to get this colour again because I got 01 thinking, oh, that's one of the lightest colours. It'll be fine. It's actually way too dark for me. This was one of the first foundations I ever bought. Now we're going to move on to lip products. I'm going to like zoom through this. Okay, up first I have these NYX Lingerie. These are matte lipsticks and I have a brown, like a reddy brown and a grey brown. 
one. These are all collagen and lipsticks. These came in a Christmas lip kit. All five of them came together. And um, it's got a gloss, a gloss, a matte lipstick, a velvet lipstick, and a matte lipstick. The velvet one is my favourite, like, formula. Then I have these. These are not the same. This is a Lime Crime lipstick and an MUA matte lipstick, but I hate matte lipsticks. And I have these two Ted Baker lipsticks. One is nude and one is red. Um, the red one is the red lipstick that I use whenever I go out, so that is definitely a staple in my um, collection because it's the only red lipstick that I have that I use. Um, then I have this lip gloss from Morphe. I bought this from the actual Morphe store, it was like two for £10 on lip glosses and lipsticks and I actually really like that lip gloss because I bought a lipstick to match it. Then I have these Victoria's Secret lip glosses. This is the Strawberry Fizz one. This one came in a set, I don't use it as you can see, it's literally full. This one also came in the set but this one has like colour in it so I don't use it. And this is a peach one. Then I have this Barry M, it's a like swell one. It's supposed to be a lip plumper but it's not, it's, it's clear and it's proper shiny, I love that. And then I have a MAC Retro Matte Lip Colour. It's called Topped With Brandy. It's really dark. And then I just have these two lip liners from Primark. Primark lip liners, if you've never had one, go and get one because they're actually so smooth and they're literally a pound. That's it for my lipsticks. Now I can put them all away. I also have the Fenty Beauty Gloss, but that is definitely in one of my bags under my bed and that is as well my favourite lip gloss because it's not sticky and it's super shiny. Ooh, we're in the final drawer of my makeup. This is not makeup actually, it's my makeup brushes but I want to go through them because I feel like everyone uses like a different range of brushes for certain things like I feel like I don't use the right brushes for some things. I'm going to go through my brushes with you anyway. I just feel like when I used to watch James Charles when I first started doing my makeup properly and I wanted to copy some of his like exciting look. I'd look at his brushes and I just think I don't have one like that. It made me realise that you have to actually work with what you've got like not everyone can afford loads of brushes and stuff like that so you do have to work with what you've got and this is what I work with. I'm so lucky to have like what I do have. I've been lucky to get makeup stuff for Christmas and for my birthdays and stuff so I do have quite an array of brushes. I'm gonna start with my powder brush so this is my powder brush. It's a lot fluffier now than it was when I got it. Um, when I got it it was like super compact. This is my bronzer brush. Now I know this is a powder brush. I know it's a powder brush, but I use it to bronze up around here because I don't contour. Moving on, this is my blush brush. I know for definite this is not a blush brush. This brush was actually gifted to me as well as a full set of brushes. So I was really lucky that I was gifted these brushes through my Instagram. This is my highlighter brush. This actually I'm assuming is a highlighter brush. This is one that James Charles uses. I copied it from his makeup tutorials years ago. Then onto foundation, I use a Real Techniques sponge. This one is so gross. It's got a hole in the bottom. I've got a new one, which I'm going to be opening. I also use this for highlighter under my eyebrows, in my inner corners, on the tip of my nose. And then this is my concealer brush for under my eyebrows. It lays really flat, which is why I like it. So these are my Morphe eyeshadow brushes. I bought them at Christmas last year. Um, I have two Morphe M573s, which is these two. And they're just blending brushes. One has orange on, one has pink on. They are stained, so I have washed them, but they are stained. And then I have a M433, which is this one, which has black from when I did my skeleton tutorial. Go and check that one out. And an M441, which is this one, which I just use for brows in my crease when I'm doing that. Then I also have these two eyebrow brushes. So one is big and one is small. They're literally the same brush. I'm using my forehead for you to be able to see them. Apart from that, I do have some more brushes like this one, which is flat, which I used to use to go around the outside of my eyebrows when I used to do one with pomade. And I have this sponge from Morphe, which I do use actually sometimes, but it's not as soft as the Real Techniques one. That is it for my brush collection. So last but not least, we are actually at eyelashes, which I would get out and show you. But there is literally about 25, 26, 30 pairs of them. Um, so I'm just gonna take the camera down and turn it around and show you inside the drawer. So this is the drawer. 
and my box of brushes sits there. And this is all of my eyelashes. So as you can see, there is four rows. I can't get this drawer to come out anymore. And each row has at least two underneath it. And then obviously these ones as well. These ones I use because I wanted to try and do those lash extensions. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with doll lashes. And these are my favourite ones. They're called Jerry and then as well the Coco lashes. They're my two favourites. So if you do want to try out doll lashes, definitely check out them too. If you have similar eyes to me, I don't know whether that's a thing. As well, doll lashes do a lot of offers to get the eyelashes cheap because I know eyelashes are quite expensive. They're like £10 for a pair. So they do do a lot of offers. Just wait and there'll be an offer soon. That's why I have so many because I literally just buy them every time they're on offer. So that is the end of... What am I doing with my arms? That is the end of my makeup collection or makeup collection of a 19 year old or whatever you want to call it i don't know what i'm gonna label it on the title i really hope you enjoyed it i just do want to disclaim that i'm not actually making this video to burst at all like i'm not doing it to be like oh look how much makeup i've got when i'm 19 and like i've got more than you it's not like that at all it's just people asked for like a makeup collection video so i just thought i'd make one and i do have a makeup account on my instagram so i feel like some people are interested in that just because they see me do my makeup and they just want to see what i'm using so so as always if you did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see my future videos I do post every Sunday and you can also click on the notifications bell to be notified every time I post but I do post at 6 p.m but yeah I really do hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check me out on my social medias on Instagram my name is Megan underscore Abanyak Snapchat is the same and my TikTok is Megan Abanyak with no underscore in the middle but I'll have them all linked in the description below anyway and I will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye